I'm gonna go for an Omega fast one right here and I'm gonna get it. Full unbuffered, perfect manual super swim, Giga Chad speeds. Watch me. Oh yeah. Woo! Full unbuffered, baby. Did someone say a gold? Did someone say a gold? Sheesh. I think the world record had a 10-11 manual uh, Windbaker split. So like for context, like if you look at this split, one of the first ever subs eight and my first ever sub eight, 754? Holy shit. It's like almost two and a half minutes faster than world record on the first split. That's why I'm buffered is so crazy. I wonder what a Loa Kirby's fastest MSS is. Let me check. I wonder what the fastest time is. Because I know he had the fastest gold. Let me double check. A 7.40. Yeah, this is only w about 10 uh, seconds now. slower Let's than the fastest go. one. Let's hope we get great fish cutscenes, Skip. Uh, this run is really good, all things considered, with my early game. So I really would prefer not losing this run. Really prefer to keep it going. How did he not drown? How did that not count as a drowning? I swear to God, the air meter is empty. It must have been like a frame early. There is no way. I actually think it might be one frame early because I think it was one frame off being fully red on the air meter. Hopefully we can get another manual super and that's good. Should we try another fully unbuffered? I lost all my speed? How? Why? That was so good. What happened? I don't understand. I'm buffered, baby. There we go. That was better. Okay, nice. Let's hope I don't lose this run again. Another sub eight. Incredible. Either way, that being said, Chad, are you ready for a Giga Chad run? How many mistakes can you make? Uh, okay. I'm not trying to be like difficult with you and be like, actually, I can't answer that. But I can't answer that because it depends on how big the mistake is. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like, if that counts as a mistake right there, which is a second try storage, then like I can make that mistake very, very many times because each time it's like four seconds and I can stack up a lot of those four seconds. But if you're talking about like major mistakes, like for example, failing like a cutscene skips, then I can't mess up any of them at this point. So it really depends on how big the mistake is. All right, here we go. Let's not fail this again. I would be really sad. You don't want to make me sad game, do you? I almost messed it up again. I drowned like a frame before it started. I don't know if you saw it, but you saw him fall there and you hadn't even, the screen hadn't even started to fade out almost. Well, it started like literally right before. It, it, it wasn't like dark at all. Holy crap. I overthought it because I failed it last run. So I was like, I'm going to go from further away, but at the same time, I just got to do it later. It's overthinking it right now. What is in place for the GBA on the HD version? So they mo they changed the Tingle Tuner to the Tingle Bottle, which up until I think it was 2018, let you send messages to anyone in the world through the Miiverse. Even though it was totally useless, it was actually kind of fun as a speedrunner when I was running in 2017 and the service was still up because sometimes it was rare, but it wouldn't happen often, which is why it was exciting. Sometimes I would be super swimming at like incredible speeds and randomly super swim into a bottle and everyone in the chat would be like open it what does it say what does it say because you could also send an in-game pictobox screenshot along with it so you could send a picture from in-game and a message but also not only that because my game was set to italian i only got messages sent by italian players so even though it was totally useless all things considered that aspect of it was fun All right, clean hover. So if we get a good Dikachu cutscene skip. Ooh, a lot of them got pushed out by themselves. This could be really fast if I don't get trolled here. Five, six. Okay, it still worked. Holy shit. Oh my God. Oh. 
Holy sh**, that gold. Man, I almost choked that with the positioning and the timing because I couldn't get up on the tree, so I didn't have time to do the proper positioning. Holy crap. You know that this is a good run when the user this run sucks says very nice. That's like an accomplishment to me. Thank you. Because trust me, he would know if a run sucked. He's like an expert in the field. Feeling a little bit nervous, which is bad because of how early in I am, but this pace is just so good. Dude, he's moving so much. Had really bad luck in his movement. Not too bad of a fight, though. I have no idea where I am in combination to this heart, so I'm going to, like, wait a second before I walk here to make sure I don't walk into this heart. Oh my god, that was close. Why can't you pick up the heart? It's really slow because it would refill my hearts, and it would set me at four hearts, both of which are bad for the speedrun. I'm gonna have to do a, take a lot of damage on Fire Mountain, so this is gonna be a little bit precise. I have to pay attention here. No! I messed up my ESS turn. I messed up my ESS turn. He turned away and then back to the island. That's bullshit. Oh, come on, dude. This was a good run. What a stupid way to lose the run. This was such a good pace. Oh, why is this run so hard? Why does this run get so hard when you try and do the optimized route? I know we just lost a really good run, but I kind of want to try another attempt, Chad. Yeah, I just double-checked. With a 30-minute flat Deku Leaf split, we were two minutes ahead of world record right there. Getting that good luck on Deku Tree to cutscene skip is so rare. That is heartbreaking. Link is, you got this. There's a cryptic saying amongst my people. It goes, I get knocked down, but I get up again. Ain't no one keeping me down. We tend to chant this. I believe it means to never give up. You're right, chat. Never give up. I did get attached to that run. That start was so good. I'm starting to get really good at unbuffered. Have you guys noticed that? We're like, this is the third one today. We are getting this. What's the hardest Wind Waker tech you had to learn? Okay, it would be manual super swim. Uh, <laughs> I think in terms of amount of time it takes to learn manual super swim by far. It's not even close. If I'm not counting in manual super swim, then... Hmm. Also, nice. New gold. That is nine seconds of the world's fastest manual super swim ever. And it is my fastest manual super swim ever, though. It's nine seconds slower than Aloha Kirby's fastest unbuffered. Very nice. It's no longer in the run, but I think the hardest, the glitch that I've ever had to do that wasn't manual super swim in Wind Waker would be the old route for barrier skip. So before we found out that you could do a bomb push clip through the barrier, we had to unload it by doing a glitch called memory corruption. I think memory corruption was the hardest glitch I've had to learn. Not because like getting it one off would be that difficult. Like you could probably try it for a few hours following a guide and eventually get it. But doing memory corruption consistent which I think is basically, like, when I consider learning a glitch, I'm thinking about the fact you have to be able to do it somewhat consistently, right? I think that, by far, is the most complicated and hardest glitch I've ever had to learn that was not manual super swim. That trick was nuts. It's really weird, like, part of me misses it, because I think that, in terms of, like, in terms of difficulty and hype, it was the most hype route we have ever had, and you were at the edge of your seats for the whole run. But in terms of longevity, I think that run would have been worse overall, because I think when a route is that awful, after enough time, it just becomes annoying. I think you could corrupt my memory. Auga. <laughs> just don't tell Maisie. Oh god. Maisie? Everything is okay. Don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Nothing's happening here. Don't worry about it. Nothing's going on here. Alright. Let's not fail this cutscene skip. Also, we actually got rupees this time. Oh, okay. Did not mean to do that. I can't jump back into the boat right now. Are you kidding me? My frame perfect A press.
Oh my god. Okay, I lost time, but I saved the run. When you have a forced text box, you have one frame to press the A button to perform an input, and I was just pressing A preemptively, really slowly, preemptively for the text that was coming up, and I guess I accidentally timed it on the one frame that you can jump out. So, that was cool. I think I just lost all my gain, but I mean, hey, still a good run. I'll still probably, if we keep up a good pace, be like a minute, minute and a half ahead of world record. What? Did you all see that backflip? Holy shit. What? This game is incredible sometimes, I agree. Today, I mean, I could definitely still PB, but today is not like a perfect day. You know how like some sometimes you have a day where it's like, you're playing pretty good, but everything feels like slightly off. That's how I feel today. I'm like making some more minor sloppy mistakes that like I don't always do. Definitely still playing overall well. So I definitely still think I can get a good run. I mean, we've had a lot of good paces, best paces I've ever had actually today so far, but still making a lot of silly mistakes. Also, can you please, thank you. Five, six. All right. If you could please tune my tingle. Oh, oh wow. Really? Dude, it's just frame perfect. Are you kidding me? I never fail this. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh, losing timer too. Sloppy early game on this run, man. All right, please give me a bomb drop. Come on, man. I'm going to lose more time hey, here and enter Dragon Roos, not just from the storage, day, but I'm also going to lose time on these next two splits because I don't have the bombs to take the damage. This is a really unfortunate turn of events for early game. Let's hope we get good luck with the Bacoblins and that they do jump attacks for two damage instead of one damage because I'm having to rely more on enemy attacks now for my damage that's remaining, which is quite a lot. Okay, pretty fast attacks. Okay. Not too bad. All right, honestly, even considering we had to take a ton of more damage, that was pretty good. Only losing 14 seconds on that. Uh, I'll keep going, even though I'm 42 seconds behind, because I have a lot of time save coming up in mid game. So if we have a good mid game, I'll keep keep going. But I really need to have a good mid game, because like if we have like a shitty Tower of the Gods, then like ugh. But I have a lot of time saving Tower of the Gods. Look, 23 seconds and 40 seconds, so it should be pretty good if I can just not suck. Come on, man. What is what is the luck in this run? No bomb drops, hitting, getting hit by the fire. It's lucky we even had our best ever Wind Waker time because if we didn't, then like this run would be dead. But like it's brought back to life due to how godly. Oh my god, this RNG is so bad. Ah. I better have a perfect Tower of the Gods. It's all coming down to Tower of the Gods. What was the RNG element of that fight? Where all the fireballs go is completely luck-based. So when you're standing and ready to grab... Because obviously when you want to be optimal in a speedrun, you want to already have your grappling hook, uh, grappling hook out and look at the tail so you can grapple on the first possible second it's available. And if you get unlucky, then a fireball can go in the direction of you because it's completely luck-based which directions the fireball go. And if you get hit there, not only do you lose time by getting hit and have to go back up and aim back up and, you know, grapple it. But on top of that as well, now, because you didn't do it immediately, Goma had time to turn around. So he's looking the other way, meaning that more time is spent in the arena running up to the front where you can grapple him. So for, you've already lost time, but now you're coming onto another luck element, which is that Goma can either sit there like a good boy and just look at you. He can do this attack. Whoop. 
and lean forward, or he can do this. And if he does that attack, then you lose even more time because you can't be grappling him when he's going back. Because it's, it's like he's basically dodging it. So if you don't get hit by the fireball, then you can execute the fight in a way where you don't have to rely on any luck. But if you get hit by a fireball, which is luck-based, you already lost time. But then you have to rely on the kindness of the boss. Because we're so close, I will not reset this run yet. But I'm telling you right now, Chad, this run is on life support. This Tower of the Gods better be so goddamn clean that it is like you have mopped that floor for 10 hours and there is not a pack on it. Like, it is spotless. You can see your own reflection in the floor, man. You wiped it so goddamn clean that it is like a mirror. Like, I'm a minute and a half behind. I want to save 23 seconds and 38 seconds. I wanna, uh, I can save a minute on Hero Spawn Tower of the Gods. I want to save at least 45 seconds. Like, I gotta be at least less than 50 seconds behind and they'll continue. But like, it's gotta be a big time save. I cannot take a sloppy Tower of the Gods and then keep going. Like, yeah, technically best possible time would be like 224, which is still technically PB pace, but like, won't happen. Like, I will not <laughs> be able to play that well for the entire the rest of the run, most likely. It is gonna be the cleanest Tower of the Gods ever. Oh, perfect though. That was super clean. Holy. Okay, good. Keep doing that. Oh, so clean. Both of them perfectly up to the right part of the island. Okay, there's a chance. Chat, I actually think I played so perfectly for the entirety of Tower of the Gods that we're still on pace to bring it back. Look. Look, remember how I said even though I messed up the storages, it was the cleanest super sims I've had? Oh yeah. There is a chance. There is a small chance. Oh my god, I'm just gonna have to YOLO it and hope I don't get hit. Well, this is not a good start to the split. Surely our luck will turn around. It's basically just going to come down to the keys in the next room and Goma. That's basically what this split comes down to. Because the rest is kind of just auto-scroller. Please, keys. Okay, there goes 10 seconds. There goes 20 seconds. Okay, I need to have the best Godin of my life. Would you consider running Windbaker HD again? Something massive would have to be found for me to ever come back to that version. I feel like I've done everything that I want in that category and version. I held every world record and I ran it for four years of my life. I feel complete. Oh, clean. Oh my God, clean! Man, I wish I wouldn't have gotten trolled by the keys now. I would have gotten a gold with that. Oh, that was so good. That was the best fight I've had since coming back to all dungeons. Oh, if I, if I had clean keys, this would have been a second gold. I'll keep the run going because I have 40 seconds to save if I get a perfect barrier skip, boomerang skip, and trial skip. And then I have 45 seconds on Hermlux. Like, I can't get ahead, so I'll keep going. It's right around the edge where I said I'd continue. I said I want to save at least 40 seconds, and that's basically what I'm doing. So I'll keep going. It's like right at the edge. Because, I mean, it's only like 10, 15 more minutes to find out. The pace. All right, here we go, chat. These all have to go basically perfect for this run to continue. So here we go. We have to go really fast here. I might have done a second frame side up. I hope not. We'll see. I couldn't really tell, but I have to go fast, so I just have to go for it. Oh, clean. Nice. Went really risky there, but it worked. Okay. Not gonna work. Not gonna work. Clean. Come on, boomerang skip. It missed bullshit. I got all the frames right. Okay, fast. 
fast I can try to take it. I don't know why that missed. I must have had the initial angle wrong because all the frames was correct. We'll keep going to see if we can get the next two splits good. I'm going to tell you this. I want to be ahead by FF2 or I'm going to reset this run. We need to be ahead by FF2. So the next two splits is going to determine this run. So let's see how it goes. Let's hope for a good storage and uh, movement here. Still save time. Uh oh. The camera auto targeted on the other bomb. Why, dude? Okay. Hey, I got the storage. That's what matters. Oh my god, I need to be able to target on my own. No. It's over. Fell down. Stupid mini blends. They tar. I got a target, so my cam, my my controls got inverted. God damn it! I was trying to kind of maneuver and salvage it on the fly right there because I wanted to go fast, but I wasn't able to for unfortunately. So yeah, that's what happened there. It was unfortunate, but at least it wasn't like a god tier run. If it was a god tier run, I could have like killed the mini blends and then retargeted. But since I wanted to go fast, I kind of was risking it. So that's unfortunate. Anyways, 